everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we've got a lookbook. I think that uh, if you've been watching the channel at all this week you'll know that we're in the middle of t-shirt week, actually at the end of t-shirt week. I have made a stack of t-shirts and subsequently a stack of tank tops out of the leftover fabric from the t-shirts um, that I'm going to share just a little lookbook for you today. Um, everything's cover stitched and everything's finished and I was just going to style them all um, in a little different way um, for you. I have nine, two, three, four, nine t-shirts for you. I also um, upcycled a sweatshirt, which I meant to show you, but it's actually in the wash right now, so I'm not going to be able to show you that one. I'll show it in one of the daily vlogs here soon, though. I've been wearing it. It's fantastic. Clearly, it's in the wash. Um, oh my goodness. And then I've got, I was able to get six, six um, tank tops out of the remaining yardage of um, fabric when I cut out my shirts. Um, I was also able to get some underwear out of that knit as well, and I've been had a lot of uh, requests for like a mini um, underwear series or whatever, which we may do here. In a, I mean, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> so that definitely may be in the future. Take a couple of days and sew um, a couple of different underwear patterns, patterns or something, because I do have knit scraps, and why not? Um, anyway, without further ado, let it delve in, because again, I've got a lot of shirts to show you. Okay, number. One, I'll just start here at the top. First off, I've got my Ellie Henley by Seam Work Magazine. It is a beautiful Henley pattern. It's got a nice deep scoop neck here. I have put snaps as my closure, and I had some pearl snaps that are vintage. Um, they were actually gifted to me by my aunt. She, When they moved, she found a whole bunch of uh, sewing notions and gave me a whole bunch, um, and I had four, and that was a perfect number to close up my Henley. And gives it a little added bling, I think. Um, long sleeved. This is in a lightweight merino knit from the fabric store. Um, I will link fabric down below when possible. I think I've been able to link most fabric though. Um, as I've been making things, I've been trying to link the fabric. Uh, anyway, this is again light, nice and lightweight. I don't know if it's going to get a ton of wear this spring, maybe a little bit this spring, but this may just kind of get put on the back burner until fall, um, but I'd had a lot of requests for how to do a Henley placket, and so yeah, we made this one up. Very pleased with it. So that is one. Try and keep, oops, the patterns here together. All right, next up, let's do... Let's do the Love Notions Classic Tee. So I made two of the Love Notions Classic Tee, pop a picture of that pattern up there. Um, I did their V-neck version and I did their scoop neck version. And I did three quarter length sleeves on both of them. That's actually my favorite um, shirt length, uh, sleeve length, uh, for winter or summer or whatever. I really like a good three quarter length. Um, the first one I made was the V-neck and very pleased with how the V-neck turned out. And I made this out of a thrifted men's sweater and this dark green, this has actually been cut out for ages. So I'm glad that I finally got it sewn up and it's been cover stitched and it's all ready to be worn. Um, like the Henley, this one probably will get worn maybe a couple of times, but the color's so dark. I mean, I don't know, it may get worn some. And it's also kind of a thick sweater, uh, sweatshirt, not sweatshirting, but it's a thick knit. So this one may, um, may wait more until the weather cools again, like in the fall. But uh, yeah, really ha happy to have this one all made up. Um, the classic tees are a little more forgiving in the midsection area than some of the others. <clears throat> the Ellie Henley was a, it's a little more um, form fitting in the midsection. And then the second classic tee I made was the scoop neck version. And I made it out of this beautiful cotton modal um, blend from Blackbird Fabrics. I should have given that a good press, but I didn't. <laughs> Anyway, um, it really doesn't pucker that bad at the neckline when it's on. Um, yeah, I got everything cover stitch. It's a beautiful fabric in this lovely copper color. Um, I think this will be a good neutral to wear this spring and summer. It goes with a lot of the fabric that I currently have planned for uh, making some more summer clothes. I mean, it's a solid t-shirt. You just really can't go wrong with that. I love a good scoop neck too. That's one of my favorite necklines on my body as well. Um, I did end up shortening the uh, t-shirt pattern by this one by two inches, which may have been a little much. I maybe probably could have gotten away with an inch to an inch and a half, but I thought I reprinted the pattern because I was making some adjustments and I thought I'd shortened the green one by two inches, but I don't think I had. I think I got confused. It doesn't take much. <laughs> 
it's fine. I actually prefer my shirts a little bit shorter because then I have less to like half tuck and that kind of thing because I am very short anyway. All right, next up is the uh, Itch to Stitch Idlewild, and this is a dress and top pattern. I made both, it has two different neckline variations. Kind of a narrow, she calls it narrow. It's still a scoop neck, but it's a little more narrow and in, and then one that's a little further out and down. And I made both necklines. This first one in this cotton jersey from uh, Style Maker Fabrics, I did the narrower one. And I did the short sleeves on this one, kind of this um, orange sherbet color. I mean, again, it's a standard t-shirt, but how I mean, wonderful. I mean, I, I really liked the neckline on actually both of these Idle Wilds. I really liked the neckline. Uh, this one's a little more form-fitting throughout the midsection, although my second one here doesn't, I don't feel like it's as form-fitting as this one, which doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. <laughs> I made this one, this is like the first one I made at the beginning of the week, and this was one of the last ones I made, so I also may have just forgotten. Um, and then the second one that I made with the wider neckline, um, with the three-quarter uh, three quarter sleeve, uh, is in this beautiful avocado is the name of the color, and it's a merino wool from the fabric store. Um, this is just their premium range that they have. This merino wool can be uh, washed and I do it all the time in the washing machine and then I let my merino um, air dry but um, I, I let most of my clothes air dry anyway I love this color I think it's so much fun I'm so glad I was able to get a tank top out of this as well because it's just a gorgeous fun green this will get a lot of wear um, in the warmer months because merino wool while you would think shouldn't be worn in the warmer months is great at wicking it is anti-microbial um, naturally and so it um, wicks things away and it doesn't um, stink basically so it's a fantastic thing to wear in the warmer weather also I've been told even if you have a wool allergy a lot of times merino does not bother you I have a little sensitivity to wool merino does not bother me but I don't have an allergy so I can't really speak to that um, but it may be something to at least try you know rub it on your um, arm or whatever to see if that bothers you but I love merino wool as a base layer. I think it's just fantastic for the cool weather and for the warm weather. All right, next up, we are going to do our, let's see, we'll do the Pamela, Pamela's Pattern Perfect T-shirt. <laughs> it's hard to say. It's very alliterate, alliterative. Um, so the first one I made, I did the ballet neckline, and this is in a mustard cotton jersey from Blackbird Fabrics. So a ballet neckline, it's very similar to the scoop. It just comes out a little further, um, and it kind of comes down in the back um, lower than a normal one. And I did the fun cuffs that I got from the Etsy shop on this one, just for some fun added interest. And I'd had a lot of questions. I did kind of a little tuck on this when I was showing you guys when I first made it. And um, I had a lot of people, how'd you do that? What'd you do? And it's a trick that I learned at that cabbie party that I went to. And cabbie is like a in-home clothing store type thing where you go and you get to see the new line and um, kind of like a Tupperware party, but it's for clothes. Um, and a friend of mine had a friend had a party and I went and actually got a pair of fantastic shoes there, but I learned this little style trick. So I will show you real quick as that you're seeing this on me. All you do is you take the shirt and you pull it, um, you know, pull it tight there at the bottom and then you just shove it through your belt loop. So simple. And it gives you that asymmetrical, um, real pretty line so that it, you know, your eye is not stopping at a horizontal line. It keeps the eye moving, which is usually very flattering and, um, slenderizing as well. Um, anyway, that is the trick. So it's very easy. <laughs> I was very excited to learn that. Um, anyway, the Pamela's pattern t-shirt is is the roomiest in the midsection of all of them that I made. Um, and which is lovely. You know, I definitely carry weight there. So it's a wonderful thing to have that a little uh, roomier. And then I also made her boat neck I've made this boat neck before, but I did the tutorial on her boat neck as well in this beautiful, this is a Stoff um, jersey knit, cotton jersey, cotton spandex jersey knit that I got from Let's Sew when I was there in um, February, the end of February. And oh, I just lo I love the color. It's just a fantastic, it's an organic jersey knit, cotton jersey knit, <laughs> and it just feels like heaven. It was expensive, but um, I mean, it's going to get a ton of wear. I mean, how? I mean, it's just such a classic shirt. How is it not going to get a ton of wear? So um, there is that one. 
And it's a boat neck. I mean, that's just so very classic in and of itself. And I think it's, I mean, there's a million things that I could wear this with. Um, I haven't filmed my twirls yet of me actually wearing these things. So I haven't styled them out yet. So it'll be interesting to see what I decide to do with this one. <laughs> it's pretty easy. There's a lot to go there. Okay, and then finally, well, almost finally, for t-shirts finally, I decided to do the square neckline and I went with the Vanessa Pousset uh, Wanted Tee. Now, this shirt does come in a very small size range and a couple of you had, had mentioned that and it definitely does. However, I think it would be phenomenal. Someone said that they bought the pattern they were gonna put this neckline on the um, Love Notions Classic Tee and I think that's a brilliant idea because the Love Notions Classic Tee has a lot more um, ease in the waistline. This Wanted Tee has like tons of negative ease in the waistline and I even added quite a bit um, when I went from my printed version to my solid version. But for the first one, I used um, what I had left of this beautiful digital print knit, my fancy camouflage I called it, <laughs> that I got from Minerva Fabrics. And um, I love, I just really love this neckline. I did the three quarter sleeve on both of these. Um, but I just think it, it almost gives the illusion of like a halter a little bit because it comes up a little bit closer to the neck and then kind of comes down for the square, which you'll be seeing on me. Um, again, it's a very fitted shirt, but I think tucked into things, it's perfect. Um, yeah, and it's gonna get a ton of wear this summer. And these are like all of my colors in this, <laughs> in this print here. So that's very exciting. But I think it would also be fun to hack onto a dress, put that neckline onto maybe a knit dress pattern, um, like the Idlewild maybe. It's just, sky's the limit, so fun. And then finally, I made the um, same shirt. So that was kind of my practice because that was leftover fabric that I had from a jumpsuit that I'm getting ready to make. Um, but this I used, uh, this is also the Stoff fabric. It's an organic cotton jersey, so also very pricey, just like the boat neck fabric. I got it at the same time. Um, but I was able to get a tank top out of this one. And I think I wasn't able to get a tank top out of the other one because that Pamela Patterns has so much more ease in the waistline. It was just that much bigger, wider, I guess, that I couldn't get... I couldn't get a tank top out of um, out of that fabric, but I was able to get one out of the red, which is fantastic. Because I think, I mean, red is fast becoming one of my favorite colors, so it's gonna get a ton of wear this summer. So both this and the tank I made out of this fabric, but it's just a gorgeous organic cotton jersey. It just feels, a uh, cotton spandex jersey, it just feels beefy and um, just real high quality. So I'm very excited about this. It's going to get worn a ton this summer, and I love that neckline. Just so pretty. A little bit of fluff in there. And then finally, I was able to get tank tops out of quite a bit of this fabric, six pieces actually. And I made the Love Notions Summer Basics Tank. Um, this pattern has quite a few, like all Love Notions patterns, a ton of variations, but I made just the plain tank top on this. And I used the full bust front um, for this pattern. They have a standard bust and full bust and I'm like right on the line. So it kind of depends from pattern to pattern what I end up having to use. But I did go with the full bust front on this one and I'm very pleased that I did. Um, let's see, I made one in the Merino. These Merino ones are just gonna be fantastic workhorses for layering. Um, but I made one in the chocolate brown Merino. I mean, these all year long. And I also got one out of the green Merino. And then I was able to get one out of the copper cotton modal and out of the red. I also ended up, for the red one, I had to shorten the shirt by three inches in order to um, get it to fit onto the fabric. And I was like, oh, that might be too short, but I'm like, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it because I really wanted it to work because this fabric was, was, it was like $22 a yard, so it was pretty pricey. Um, I think I had a yard and a half. And so I made it work and I actually ended up loving that length so much more. So I think these two, the sherbet and the, um, uh, the sherbet and the mustard are in the longer, the regular length. And then the rest of these are all shortened by three inches and I think I like that better. So yeah, I was able to get it in those fabrics as well. So I will just show, you, show me wearing one of these. They all look the same, they're the same pattern. <laughs> I just have six of them. 
So those are gonna come in so handy both wearing by themselves this summer, but also as layering. I am, you know, wearing them under jackets, under cardigans, under dusters. I'm really into the idea of uh, baggier jeans and I just made my Eddie, Eddie Stone jeans that are a little bit looser. Um, I love the look with the really fitted shirt with those and then um, wearing shirt dresses as dusters. I love that look right now too, which is perfect for spring. So anyway, I'm excited to, to both layer those all year round and then also wear them standalone as the weather starts to heat up in the summer. So there you have it. There is my lookbook. That is everything that I got made for T-shirt week this week. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. I think I got a lot of good response on that. So that's very, very exciting. And I hope you're also following along on the daily vlogs while we are currently in shelter in place here in Indiana. I've been doing daily vlogs and that's been extended through the beginning of May now. So <laughs> you'll definitely be getting daily vlogs through the beginning of May, um, possibly longer. Our school has been um, called for the year. So we are e-learning slash homeschooling from now until the end of school, which is the end of May. So <sighs> that's fun. Um, but yeah, the daily vlogs are going to continue just as long as we're still in the shelter in place, because why not? Um, I do have some fun videos planned as going forward. I'm going to be doing my um, 10 street style looks for spring and then matching patterns with those. I always get a good um, response from those videos and they're also really fun to do. And then I have fun sewing them up, which I'm going to have plenty of time to sew all of these looks up <laughs> as going forward. So I may get all 10 sewn up for you guys. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'd also been asked what are some of my favorite um, indie pattern designers as well as online fabric stores. So I thought that might be a fun video to do. Um, so I've got that uh, planning that out as well um, as we go along. I'm going to do a plans video with you. I don't normally do plans videos, but I'm actually going to do a plans video because I have pulled, in fact, you can almost kind of see some of it back here, a whole bunch of fabric. Um, and I think I, in the daily vlog, I showed you a list of a whole bunch of things. I thought, oh, I'd like to do this, 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 and this, because so many of the patterns, uh, places, and fabric stores have been having sales, and I have been doing some shopping, mostly patterns. I bought a little fabric, but mostly it's been patterns. Um, and I want to sew them all up, because um, sewing helps ease my anxiety, and that's kind of what the daily vlogs are all about, just you guys following me along with that. So I am going to do a video on that. And then I thought it might be kind of fun and also push me to actually get myself somewhat ready for the day to do a week's worth of outfits and how I am dressing in the quarantine um, and forcing myself to actually get dressed because I have been doing that, actually forcing myself to actually put on clothes every day and to actually get dressed and not just be in workout wear all day because I have a tendency to put that on in the morning and then not change out of it until I've done my workout and in this current... Um, state of things sometimes it's evening before I get my workout in so anyway <laughs> I think it makes me feel better to actually get dressed though and to make a point to do that so yeah so that's what we've got to looking forward to as well as the daily vlogs that'll be coming up on the days when I don't have a formal video going so I hope you guys are excited about that if you have any other ideas for videos that you'd like to see during this time leave them down in the comments below make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with vlog and then again on Tuesday for another formal video have a good one bye